the floor to the representative of United Nations Watch. You have the floor. Mr. President, I'm Tanya Chen speaking as a Hong Kong legislator, activist and lawyer. Hong Kong on the verge of a humanitarian crisis as police brutality against supporters of the democratic movement escalates. Arrested protesters face physical abuse and humiliation by the police. A female protester openly spoke of an unnecessary and degrading strip search she went through. More sexual abuse cases remain unreported. Detained protesters were denied timely access to medical and legal assistance. Use of force is excessive and discriminate. The police shot a beanbag round at the first aider and blind one of her eyes. The riot police attack innocent subway passengers whom they claim were rioters in disguise. As of now, the police has fired more than 2,000 tear gas cans. The police call protesters crocodiles. Brutal crackdowns and preemptive violence against them are hence regarded as acceptable pest control to curb free speech. Today marks the 100th day of the movement, but there is no sign the police will exercise restraint. This is a result of the lack of democracy in Hong Kong, as the government is not held accountable for its endorsement of police abuse. Will the High Commissioner support our appeal for this Council to convene an urgent section and to establish a commission of inquiry to ensure human rights of the people of Hong Kong? Why is China sitting here as a member of this Human Rights Council? Thank you. I would like to appeal to the speaker to frame the statement within the context of the agenda item strictly. Thank you. Now I give you the floor to the uh, representative of Action on Smoking and Health. Thank you. Mr. Vice President, according to the World Health Organization, tobacco kills more than 8 million people 